Nephi says that no man will be angry at the words he has written unless he be of the spirit of the devil. Now, why would Nephi make such a bold and interesting statement? Well, he gives us a list of some of the reasons why that statement is true. And a couple of those reasons include that Nephi's words teach us to do good and they persuade us to believe in Christ. There is only one source of anger and animosity toward the Son of God. So if we feel ourselves becoming angry because Nephi is persuading us to come to Christ, we can immediately pray to God, ask for his grace, and he will soften our hearts and open our minds to receive these words in truth and in spirit. So let's see what Nephi is saying. 2 Nephi 33, 2-6 but behold, there are many that harden their hearts against the Holy Spirit, that it hath no place in them. But I, Nephi, have written what I have written, and I esteem it as of great worth. And I cry unto my God in faith, and I know that he will hear my cry. And the words which I have written in weakness will be made strong, for it persuadeth them to do good, and it maketh known unto them of their fathers, and it speaketh of Jesus, and persuadeth them to believe in him, and to endure to the end, which is life eternal. And it speaketh harshly against sin, according to the plainness of the truth. Wherefore, no man will be angry at the words which I have written, save he shall be of the spirit of the devil. I glory in plainness, I glory in truth. I glory in my Jesus, for he hath redeemed my soul from hell. Again, if we find ourselves angry at these words that persuade us to believe in Christ, I invite you and all of us to ask God for his grace, to pray to God, and he can soften our hearts and give us the ability to learn and embrace these words. Until next time, happy reading.